Due to the dramatic shift in climate and other human interventions, there are a lot of plant and animal species that are extinct than those that are alive today. This is actually a shame, especially to the scientists community who should have given it all to study these creatures. However, due to advances in genetics and cloning, bringing this animals back from extinction seems more of a possibility than ever. But before like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss our next uploaded video. Now let's look at some of the top 10 animals. Scientists are ready to bring back the dodo. 30 years after its discovery, the dodo became extinct. Its only known habitat was Mauritius Island where it had been living peacefully, who knows for how long until in the 1590s when their deaths showed up. The dodo had no fear of people because it had not seen humans before. So it was easy to cab this creature to death. These birds are big and heavy, a little over 3 feet tall and weighing about 39 pounds. Luckily, the dodo may soon become unextinct as scientists just need to collect few DNA samples and implant them into their closest relative, the pigeon. The ground sloth. You might mistake this picture of gigantic creature for a bear. Well, yes it is. To be more precise, a ground sloth. This are some of the extinct animals that scientists are ready to bring back since they were still walking about 8,000 years ago. Even better, some DNA samples have already been received from their undamaged cells. However, finding a surrogate mother for the clone baby may be difficult because their nearest modern-day relative is too small. To carry a creature the size of a bear. Scientists are therefore contemplating the possibility of using an artificial womb. The woolly mammoth, even though most of the woolly mammoths died about 10,000 years ago, a population of about 500 to 1,000 of them was still living on Wrangell Island up to 4,000 years ago. This animal was about the size of an African elephant with the shoulder height of 11 feet and weighed about 6 tons. They had a thick, double-coated fur and fluffy ears that helped it survive harsh conditions. Many discovered specimens frozen in the Arctic make it possible for scientists to use their DNA and create a high-breed embryo of a woolly mammoth and an elephant that has already been nicknamed Momo. The Neanderthal, this is definitely the most controversial, the idea of scientists bringing back to life. This species had brought about a heated debate due to the logistics. The strongest surrogate species would have to be human. In addition, Neanderthals are believed to be a subspecies of modern people. So while cloning them would be enlightening, it could also be unethical. In any case, resurrecting Neanderthals would be the easiest of them all because scientists already have its genus, and it's not a question of whether or not we can, but if we should, the woolly rhinoceros. Alongside the woolly mammoth is the woolly rhinoceros, a fluffy, extinct animal that scientists want to bring back. This animal recently lived in the Arctic snows about 10,000 years ago. This furry rhino is quite famous and often makes an appearance in the French Vue DuPont Arkansas. The Arctic permafrost had done a great job by preserving quite a lot of specimen, and now the woolly rhinoceros has the same chances of being resurrected as a mammoth. The Baji River Dolphin This beloved creature went extinct in 2006 as a result of direct impact due to human activity. This is one of the animals that scientists are ready to bring back from extinction. Because of their recent extinction, their DNAs are pretty much at hand and their resurrection is a guaranteed success. Unfortunately, it's unclear whether the Bji River Dolphin will have a home to come back. To if it doesn't become unextinct, because their habitats are extremely polluted. The Moa, this was a huge flightless bird, similar to an ostrich. The Moa family has about 10 members. Some not bigger than turkeys, while some reach the height of 10 feet, making it the largest bird that has ever inhabited the planet. Just 600 years ago, the history of this bird was brought to an end by aggressive hunting. Luckily enough, due to such a recent time, this animal extinction remnants of their feathers and eggs can still be found even today. And the Moa DNA has actually been extracted from the Moa egg shells. The Irish Elk, also known as the Giant Deer. The Irish Elk is one of the animals that didn't manage to survive the Ice Age, despite its extinction. About 12,000 years ago, 
researchers have discovered Irish Alp fossils are only 7,000 to 8,000 years old in Siberia. If this is one of the extinct animals, scientists want to bring back, well, it will be a great sight to see. It was 7 feet tall just at its shoulder, and it had antlers extending up to 12 feet across the Irish elk inhabited the north and it preserved remains have been found in the melting permafrost. The Heath Hen In regards to the conservation, the Heath Hen is one of the animals that received a lot of concentration from people commonly found in the northeasterness. These birds were aggressively hunted for food for the next 300 years or so. Local conservationists banned the hunting of this bird to try and preserve it, but it still went into extinction in 1932. Availability of its DNA makes it a candidate of de-extinction. However, a conservation group is determined to restore the bird through genetic technology. The Gastric Brooding Frog Native to Eastern Australia The Gastric Brooding Frog is an aquatic frog whose genus consists of only two species both of which went extinct in the 1980s due to trin fungus. They are famously known for their unique characteristic of giving birth through the mouth after their extinction. Much later in 2013, scientists began a project dubbed the Lazarus Project. Named after a biblical man, meaning bring back to life. They tried to clone the frog and they hope to make an embryo that will survive up to a tadpole stage. The quagga, this animal that went extinct in 1983 due to hunting, is actually a subspecies of the plain zebra. The two species have the same DNA and share the same genotype. Though their observable characteristics are different, scientists started a project to recreate the quagga from selected plain zebras. It had some success and the first quay plain, zebra was born in January, 2005. While the fifth generation was born in December, 2013. This extinct animal scientists are bringing back are almost identical to the extinct quare and can be released into the wild, the thine. This largest known carnivorous marsupial native to Australia and New Guinea looked more like a wolf. It became extinct in the mainland 3000 years ago, but survived on a Tasmanian island until human hunters brought it to extinction in attempts to protect their lives in the late 20th century in 2008. Scientists at the University of Melbourne grew a mass of embryos from a sample of DNA, and they grew. Normally, this experiment has given scientists the hopes of eventually restoring the thine from extinction. The Megalania The Megalania were part of the megafunnel assemblage that inhabited southern Australia. During the Pleistocene, they had a massive 575 kilograms and measured 5.5 meters in height. It is believed that the earliest Australian Aborigines settlers might have been a factor to the extinction of this gigantic lizard. There is a larger initiative though aimed at retrieving the long-gone Megalania, putting it on the list of some of the extinct animals being brought back to life. The Great Ark, this flightless bird became extinct in the mid-19th century. It was the only modern species in the genus. Penguinus, even though there is no relationship between the two. This was the first bird to be called penguin. The bird's down feathers were in high demand in Europe where it was used in making pillows. Its eggs and flesh are also used for food. This largely contributed to its extinction through hunting. However, scientists are working on cloning this precious bird backed by use of the DNA from its preserved parts. Which one of them do you want to see in real life? Do you think we should bring them back? Let us know in the comments box below. Like always if you enjoyed it, be sure to give us a big thumbs up and leave us some love in the comments section to keep up to date with all of our awesome videos. Be sure to hit subscribe and turn your notifications on to never miss a thing. Until next time, do take care of yourself.